Before drawing any arcs, be sure to select the correct layer assignment. These layer selections are included in most of the existing templates. I'm going to select the Hardscapes line style. I can select the Arc command from the Draw menu or from the toolbar icon. I'll zoom in on the design screen by rolling the scroll button on the mouse. Now arcs require three points to be set on the design screen. The center point, the beginning of the radius, and the end of the radius. Arcs are always drawn in a counterclockwise direction. If I turn the snap feature on, I can accurately set the radius of the arc pattern. I can read the angle and distance from the anchor point location in the status bar at the bottom of the screen to precisely draw arc patterns. Now let's use the arc command in a typical design. I'm going to select the hardscapes line style and then zoom in on the driveway of this property by rolling the scroll button on the mouse. I can hold down the scroll button to move or pan the drawing around on the screen. I can select the arc command from the draw menu or the from the toolbar icon. I'll set a point on the screen by clicking one time with the left mouse button. I'll press the left arrow key to open the point polar command set at a 180 degree angle. I'll enter a distance of 3 and press the enter key to set the radius of the arc. I'll drag the mouse cursor and use the polar tracking feature to help me set the second point at a 90 degree angle. Now I'll press the letter P key to turn off the polar tracking feature. I'll select the arc and click on the selection handle. I'll drag the arc to the correct location and click again to place the arc. I can click on the drawing screen or press the escape key to unselect the arc pattern. Now I'll select the driveway line, click on the end point, and move the end point up to the arc pattern. Now I'll select the arc command again and set a point on the screen. I'll press the down arrow key to open the point polar command set at a 270 degree angle. The radius is already set at 3, so I'll press the enter key. I'll press the letter P key to turn on the polar tracking feature to help me set the end point for the arc. And I'll press the P key to turn the polar tracking back off. Click on the arc pattern to select it. And click on the selection handle to move the arc. I'll reposition the arc by clicking at the new location. Again, I'll select the driveway line and move the endpoint to connect the arc.